little guy. My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. And this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how you doing? James Zach, audience. How are audience. you? Audience. Huge, massive weekend. A graduation weekend. I went to a concert. <laughs> Uh, for Jess's brother's graduation, went to Nikki Cass's graduation because I whooped that ass in Blitzball. We're going to start with the sports. Jake, can you tell the people what happened in the sports? James, massive sports weekend. I mean, we could talk golf. You know, we could talk NBA playoffs. But we're talking hockey because we're a puck company. Puck luck, suck duck, uh, pot luck. And Jim, we have our famous, we're known for our Rangers pod. Yeah, big time Rangers podcasters. The bandwagon, the blue shirts. Yeah. Uh, three episodes in to public and the people are loving it, man. And the Rangers are just killing the hurricanes uh, of late one and oh in the last one game Rangers up. Let's see. John Budwine said, oh, the reason we have ex Rangers is because they all had to leave that fucking area. If you're going to be on a podcast about hockey, holy shit, know about the players and their names. I can name four to five players on the Rangers easily, but thank you for tuning in the bandwagon blue shirts. John Budwine commented again, mm. until people show Carolina as a team and area more respect, I'll continue to call Ranger fans and NY what they are trash. I hate when people make it so... You dedicate yourself to rude. a craft. We're just talking about the team we love. Igor. 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 Bet you, bet you a million dollars on DraftKings Sportsbook that this will hit you right in the face. That's scary. Don't aim that at me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Always a little high. Soft DraftKings. Next, Jim, this almost a breakdown is very near and dear to your heart. Yeah, a lot of things I like here. Eagles. I think it's the only thing I like. An eagle. You don't like breastfeeding. Ah. Uh, hmm. Pig? I don't. No, because you don't like, like as, life. A, as a recent dad, it, it was kind of like, you know, it was a burden on the mom and I felt like I couldn't help it all. <laughs> the story is a woman in, uh, I think, uh, Vancouver, the island off Vancouver. British Columbia. British Columbia. She's got a pet goose, obviously, and an eagle it tries to steal the, their pet goose and it's dragging it by its long neck out of the driveway. The eagle goes to the front porch, grabs the goose, dragging it. The goose, pathetic. The mother, she's breastfeeding in her underwear. She runs out. What does she say? Oh, it's so funny. She says, drop it, let go. Give me my goose back. Electric. I love when they say that. Couple things on the goose. Goose, and you could tell from the driveway, these are well-off people. The goose is either the rich person's pet or the poor person's pet. If you're in the middle class, you don't get a goose. These people are well off with their goose. The goose escapes. Um, by the time mom comes out, the goose has come back. You're you're discrediting when she was yelling, Give me my goose back. And the eagle heard that and was like, hey. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'll back off. The goose, you have the goose being scared in this motion. I have the goose peacocking. That goose just survived an eagle attack. Oh, I think the goose is being rude. Like it was like, how many yeah. birds do you have between eagle and the the common goose in the predatory world? One hundred. One hundred flat. One hundred. Oh, what are the odds? Yeah, and I think I think when the goose was coming back, even in, one bill, the goose was walking back in after it got saved, and it's like, ha 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 ha! But you don't have a mom. It was rude. Jim, this may be a story people have seen before. Uh, it went viral kind of last week, but we got more on it because we've been digging up. Uh, there is. A raccoon caught at a Razorbacks baseball game. Uh, and, you know, that one was waiting to pop. That's fucked. Jim, again, great video. Just good content. Wholesome content. We got some quotes that came out of this that are must read. What are you doing? I'm, I'm waiting for the must read quotes from um, our guy. I thought you were going to. I thought you were reading the must read quotes. Uh, the quotes are must read. Poppers. Raccoon hunting is not an uncommon thing in my family. Pause. It was definitely something I was roughly familiar with. Boss. <laughs> Just maybe not in that exact sense. Yeah. <laughs> Bingo. It was definitely something I was roughly familiar with. Is that just, in my head, that means he's seen someone hold a raccoon before. I think that means he knows what animals are. I think it means he's seen someone pick it up like this. Okay. Which is exactly what he did. So then when he says, just maybe not in that exact sense, now what explain what what the differences between the raccoon hunting you've seen 
I don't know. The whole quote kind of jogs my brain. After that quote, he casually mentions the raccoon did bite him, uh, which, you know, I guess when we're talking about being familiar with stuff, if a raccoon bites you, there's a chance you might have rabies. And he says, I was about to walk back in the stadium because, you know, big Arkansas baseball game. And the cop said, you need to go get a rabies shot uh, like right now. Cop can chill out a little bit. Yeah. I guess cops familiar with hunting raccoons too. Job is basically we can't let you back in the <laughs> You you gotta know. You're out. It's not sports. It's a huge animal <laughs> sports episode. Big animal episode. <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for? Why do you think? What? If you had to take one guess. I don't know. What about this Meridian man's pet squirrel going nuts on a burglar? Yeah, so this guy's got a pet squirrel, and if you look at him. Duh. <laughs> That's a guy, he listens to rock music with his pet squirrel, whose name is Joey. So he comes home and he finds that his house is like, something's amiss. And then his, his lock, there's scratches all over, and he's like, I think something happened here. So he calls the cops. The cop comes, her name was Officer Ashley. Yeah. He's looking around the house, checking out the scratches, and then the squirrel, Joey, is at her feet. Yeah. She goes, whoa, what's that? And he goes, oh, don't worry, that's just my pet squirrel, Joey. She says, well, do you think the, he would bite someone? And he goes, his exact quote was, I said, well, usually doesn't bite. Oh, no, I think he's got a raspberry. I said, well, usually doesn't bite, but you never know because he's, he's a squirrel. Good reasoning. She comes back with all of this stuff because like a teenager got caught burglaring something else and had scratches all over him. And she said, hey, did you get those scratches from a squirrel? <laughs> and the burglar goes, yeah, damn thing kept attacking me. You double got now, kid. Yeah. Why'd you admit to that? Don't tell Zach what we're talking about. Okay. Let's do the rest of the show like this. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee. What do you think? I put it down. Special guy. Darren Sammy. Darren Sammy. The person with the most followers on Twitter that has ever tweeted about us while wearing our merch. You guys probably know Darren Sammy, all-time cricket player from my St. Lucia. His, Arguably his, his St. Lucia. Lucia. I visited, got engaged there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome dude. Awesome dude. And there's going to be uh, there's gonna be some good content coming soon on the Warehouse Games channel. He was in the booth doing play-by-play -play with Rosie. Chris Rose. For a game we invented that is half blitzball, half cricket. Chris Rose, not the employee of the week. No, no. Darren Sammy is. Play of the month. Goes to Darren Sammy is like a good time. Achoo! That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code JOMBOY and you can bet just $5 and get $150 in free bets no matter what happens. You bet $5 on an MLB game. No matter what happens, you get $150 in free bets. Promo code JOMBOY at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. MLB trademarks used with permission. I want to see, you know, those pictures, those videos where they release a mouse or like they release a turtle on the, and then it instantly gets driven over or another bird right. comes and grab it. Where's the video of where they put that raccoon? Cause he instantly just booked it right back into the stadium. It's in a jambalaya right now. We cooked it. In college, Jimmy used to use those as condoms. Jim, this, this not sports. <laughs> <laughs>